I'm going to show you how to make these delicious roasted potatoes. They're really easy to make. First, preheat the oven to 425. Next, we're ready to slice the potatoes. And um, you can slice them right on your cooking sheet if you want, or you can slice them on a cutting board, of course, after you have scrubbed your potatoes. I also like to line my cooking tray with foil. You can do that or not. And the trick is that you're going to slice these without cutting all the way through, which is the hardest thing to do. Now I have a fingerling potato here. This is the little one that I'm using. I have made this with full-size baking potatoes, and it was okay, but it wasn't as good as with these smaller potatoes. The smaller potatoes, I don't know, they're just really yummy cooked like this. So that's the fingerling. And then these two are just small white potatoes. A lot like a baked potato, but just not as big. And I mean trying to be careful to not cut all the way through, but if you do, it's so you know, it's okay. Then you just have a little piece that's gonna roast on the pan. And then my last one. When I first was making these, I would cut through all the time. And you can make them as thin as you want, as close together as you want. It's up to you. Oh, I almost did it all the way through. And this is the last one I want to show you. And now that I've sliced them, now we're ready for some olive oil, butter, salt, and pepper, and I'll show that to you next. Alright, I have my last ingredients assembled here. If you want, you can open your potatoes a little bit, because it's hard to do this with one person with one hand, but I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top. Then I'm going to drizzle some melted butter that I've already melted, and you can just guesstimate how much butter you need to melt. For these I did about a tablespoon. And then shake them some salt. I'm using Celtic sea salt. And shake on some pepper or you can use a pepper grinder to grind some. Now I'm ready to put it into my preheated oven at 425 degrees. So the potatoes are now in the oven and I'm going to set the timer for about 40, eh, between 40 and 45 minutes. That little fingerling potato, the fingerlings only need 40 minutes, but the big one might need 45, the bigger one. So we'll see what they look like when they come out. And there you have it, these yummy roasted potatoes. Go out and get yourself some of these small potatoes and try them yourself.